we're going to be doing a taste test on a collection of, well, obviously, Kit Kats. Uh, and some of these little we, chocolate things too. Yeah. So they came in a pack, as you can see, we've got these ones. This is not sponsored, by the way, we just thought we'd try them. Um, but it comes with like little chocolates and stuff like that. You'll have to excuse me if I can't talk very well, because I literally can't. <laughs> yeah, uh, if you want to check the channel update on the other channel, if I remember correctly. Yeah, there's a, there should be a, a video up about that. But we've got our tea, you know, our uh, Dragon's Treasure tea from, you know, licorice. It's good. Yeah. Anyway, um, let's get on with it. One. So I'll let you pick one first. Uh, oh, I kind of want to go strong off the bat. Probably the one that I can't read at all. Um, <laughs> so do you want to go blind into it or do you want me to read them? Yeah, let's just go blind into it. It's more fun that way. And I'll read them afterwards. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So it'll be a good uh, little guessing game. Because there's like two pieces. We can... Mm. You know what? I kind of like the colour kind of reminds me of dog biscuits for some reason. Mmm. Oh, it smells good. Mmm. Smells like... Milky bar. Oh yeah. Mm, no, it kind of tastes like um. Kind of reminds me of um, Rice crispy cake. Mm hmm. Mm. I don't know if that's a strictly British thing or not. I no, can't recognise it. It's um, matcha, which mm. is green tea. Ah. On my other videos, I've done like uh, matcha is just like uh, a powdered version. They use the whole leaf of the of the. Mm. Whole green leaf instead of just partially. That got you in the top then, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Ow. Mm. That's nice. Mm. That's really good. I don't know. I'm There's not, a mint one here. I'm not a fan it's of green tea. Usually, like uh, if you've ever seen our tea uh, tea review, I generally just don't like tea. But the one we got today is the one I really like, and it's actually the one that compels me to drink tea. Um, <laughs> Right, I'm not going to tell you what this one is unless you've already read it. Oh, no, I haven't read any of these yet. There are some, like, super obvious ones, like, as the mint one was just pointed out. <laughs> Ooh, is this white chocolate? This, uh, it looks like a white chocolate to me. Mm -hmm. Oh. Like a, a yellowish hue. Some, is mm -hmm. it, like, coconut or something? Mango? No. It smells... Oh, that's confusing me. <laughs> that's confusing. Oh my god, what the heck is that? I'm going into that like expecting a Kit Kat. Mm -hmm. But it's completely different. It's actually a uh, mango. Ah! Ha! <laughs> I got it right on the second guess. It smelled really sour. <laughs> mm. Mm. I'm not sure, but I think I might be slightly allergic to mango. <laughs> that tongue kind of burns a little. <laughs> I think if you put that, if you put that in your lunch mm. and like you sat there on like a cool crisp morning, you know, sitting outside somewhere. I think that uh, the mango would really give that a nice freshness to it. Yeah, I feel like it would definitely be a day picker up, uh, mm -hmm. definitely. And considering the, um, apparently these are from uh, Japan, apparently, I cannot confirm or deny for the simple fact is I cannot read. <laughs> <laughs> read some of these. So, which ones do you want? Uh, oh, it's my turn, isn't it? Yes. I'm gonna go with this one because it kind of reminds me of like you know those packages for those like British shortcakes that we got. <laughs> yeah. I mean, not shortcake, shortbread. shortbread. Yeah, shortbread. I like shortbread. It looks like it. It says milk tea on it, so I assume it's. I think it says milk honey tea. on the top as well. Ah. Hmm, okay. Yeah, I can't actually read any of this because uh, I might be a weeb, but I ain't like a a giga weeb where I've actually learnt the language yet. What it looks like so far. Dexter's here. Oh. Hello, kitty cat. Kitty cat on the shot. Here you go. Oh. There. Yep. You're holding it there. I'm looking. At, I'm busy looking. Yeah, yeah, at I know. Cat. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's like here, take the, take the kit cat already. Ooh. Oh, that smells nice. What did you describe the smell as? It's like a. It still kind of smells. Right. Yeah, it smells like a lemony. Like a lemony, oh, what's it? Lemon curd. No, oh yeah. Yeah, like a lemon custard. Mmm, yeah. Mmm. More vanilla and lemon. Mmm. And what's the sweet side of it? 
Because we've got a little cheat milk. sheet over here. It just says milk. 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 Hmm. Quite nice, actually. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, it does have like nice. a bit of a pang to it. Just, just completely ruined my order. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's what I am, a god of chaos. I can feel you eyeing up that blue one. Uh, what, this one? <laughs> now the one behind you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go for this one. Mm, okay. This is where he, like, plundered the middle anyway. I'm not really doing the shoot. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> oh. We have to guess. Oh, this is a bit more difficult to open. <laughs> mm. Oh, no, it fell there apart. <laughs> it did, it fell apart. No. Oh, yours, oh, thank you. Oh, it's in two pieces over here as yeah. well. Oh, kind of looks like a cookie. It smells very that, that, sweet. That cookie cream type thing, though. Yeah, it smells very sweet. Mm, very sticky too. Well, I mean, kind of sticky. They all kind of smell like. Mm. You can smell the milk, can't you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I like this one. Is it milk for a chance? <laughs> it's really nice. This one might actually literally be milk. Mm. It's really good. Oh. Uh, we've got. Let's have a look at the packet. Yeah, looks like Please. this um, light green. Light green. Mm. I think. Where is it? I don't think it's printed out properly. Ah. But I think it's the summer ice cream. Ah, oh, that's really good. I mean that it, that that explains like the colour. Mm. And the taste. Mm. Very good. I like that. I like that one a lot. I'm saving this bin with this one, <laughs> this one, straight up, going to the top tier of at least an 8. Mm. The very least. <laughs> Rating 8. <laughs> I'm still going with the matcha tea, because I like green tea. <laughs> I do like the green tea. I would at least give that a uh, solid 7, I would say. Mm. It ain't moving from that 7. It was really good. This one could go higher, uh, depending on what else I'm not, we get. I'm okay with the, the mango one. I'll probably give it about an average score. I would give it probably three because I'm not a fan of mango. Mm. It kind of, and I think I might be slightly allergic to it as well. Because <laughs> I had a bit of a burning sensation on my tongue for some reason, so I might be <laughs> allergic. I think it's more of an environmental thing. Yeah, if you've got the right kind of season or the right kind of day, mm. I think it'd be fantastic. Yeah. It, yeah oh, yeah, definitely. Your turn. Oh yes, my yeah. I'm gonna go for this one because, like, look, look at you this. just push everything. Yeah. <laughs> well, how can, but how could I resist this packaging? Look at it. Like, what the hell is this? What the heck's going on? Is it seal free? Is it, maybe it's already been sealed. Save the blue oceans. Save the blue oceans. Oh. Oh, yes. Yeah. Does that? Ooh, this looks like. Can look at that packaging a little bit? Oh. <laughs> I snapped mine in two. It's a Kit Kat, that's what you're mm. supposed to do. Yeah, but the wrong way. <laughs> I snapped it this way. <laughs> this is definitely one of just a milk chocolate. Solid save, milk chocolate. Save the blue oil, shouldn't it say? But mm. it doesn't give me much information. Mm. As, is it like it a, doesn't say Is it's... it like a charity promotional kind of kit, small Kit Kat or something? No. It, I mean, it's, I can't read that. But mm. maybe. I'm not sure. If anybody can read, can translate that, could you do it below for me? Because it would be nice to find out what that is. What it says. Hmm. So. Hmm. Yeah. Yep. Can you break? <laughs> yeah, I know. They're all snapping in the little bits. That's what they do for Kit Kats, though, don't they? Hmm. Do they? Hmm. Oh. So, where's the snap? Ooh! It's got like um when you bite into it you don't get it until it's like hits the soap but yeah, it's like yeah. a salty kind of yeah it's like a salty taste to it mm. like the it's like a biscuit isn't it in like side of the Kit Kat right mm. oh there you go it's sea salt ah right mm. I suppose the ocean theme mm. Mm. that's a good message on the front of it so we should yeah. save our oceans because it is important. Mm. Mm. I want to know what this one is because yeah, he's yeah, been looking at me for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's gonna. Let's pop that out of the light. Mm. 
trick or treat. Mm -hmm. Oh, is it a trick? Oh, is it a treat? I'm um, worried. <laughs> I'm wondering about that. that <laughs> just launched <laughs> off the table. I opened it and half of it just went across the table. Yep. Where's it gone? Oh, this looks kind of... It's kind of pink. Oh, whoa. Oh, no. I don't like this. It's... Oh. Oh, I could smell that from here. It's like yeah, a... it's very strong. I don't know if I like the smell or not. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of like it, but there's a part of me that can just go there. I've smelled that before. I can't place it. Is it like a peach or something? It kind of smells like in between a... Like a raspberry, you know? Yeah, it's a raspberry, definitely. Definitely a raspberry. That's what I... I don't know. The, the wafer in the middle is different. It is. Oh. It's nice. I don't like this one. It's leaving me confused. It's giving me mixed feelings. <laughs> I don't know if I like or hate it. I think if it was like um, if we were American, we'd probably be able to pick on, up on those flavours a bit more because they uh, yeah, they've got like kernel corn. Like uh, I don't know what that tastes like. I so. do know Americans do use a lot of raspberries, don't they, in a lot of their dessert cooking, right? I'm not quite sure. Mm. Um, I, I know, I, I know the, I know the big meme of the Americans is like, they literally put cheese and everything and like, just like they don't. They, it says like, put a spoon of sugar. Oh, I'll just get a bucket of sugar. <laughs> I don't know about this one. I kind of like it. But I kind of hate it all at the same time. I think the snack size that it's in would be okay, but yeah, I, I think it'd be too sweet for me. Yeah, I think it would be too sweet for me as well if I like ate like an entire bar of this. If if these were full sized, uh, <laughs> I think I'd, I'd definitely feel I, sick. <laughs> I'd have to share this with uh, a mate or something like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that one I'd probably just give a. Unfortunately, I'd give it a bit four. Just for personal taste, really. For. Mm. Like, what did the sheet say it was anyway? Um. I reckon it's got to be some kind of raspberry. It's apple cinnamon. Apple cinnamon? What? <laughs> yeah, you can see on the packet there in the lower left-hand corner. You oh, can see yeah. cinnamon sticks and an apple. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't pick that up till George. <laughs> yeah, same. It don't taste quite appley. That's probably why I That's why we were picked so... up on like, the cinnamon flavour because it didn't register. Yeah, I know that didn't register with me as well. I thought it was like some kind of raspberry. Mm. Tea break. Licorice. Mm -hmm. You got licorice tea because it tastes so good. So it's your turn. Yes. The uh, uh, what? What is it? Uh, oh, what, what, what? What? What's the tea called? Let me go. It's and licorice. Yeah, I know that. Do you want to choose one first? Yeah. Give me a sec. <laughs> See, this is what he does, and then I have to edit all of it, and I'm just gonna leave it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> uh, it's lustful licorice from the the dragon's treasure. Um, uh, which we've done a review on so if you could check out those videos that would be great we've done a few reviews on the tea this is the, my favourite I'm, I'm not a big tea drinker to be honest I know I'm British shock and all I don't like tea that much um, <laughs> but I do know this about the British we do something super weird and that is put milk in our tea so <laughs> <laughs> Which, which apparently you is can weird. feel the impatience. <laughs> yeah, I know. I like this one. Once again, another one I can't I've got read. a feeling that it might be sort of dark chocolate. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking because as well. Because I am addicted to dark chocolate. I do not like dark chocolate. I'm like the oh. opposite. I'm the op uh, okay, complete opposites I'm on open, chocolate here. Opening? Yeah, I am. I am opening it. But I can't help it. I have to do this with my hands like when I talk. <laughs> um, and blind people. <laughs> yeah, I am blind people. Ah! <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is definitely dark Lucky. chocolate. This is a dark, dark chocolate. <laughs> Look at that. Oh. Yeah, like... Yes, I did make that noise. Yeah, <laughs> complete opposites on this. Oh, wow. um, it snaps so well. As, mm. as a dark, you can always tell a good dark chocolate from the snap. Mm. I sound like a... <laughs> like a serial killer, disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yes, you can always tell it's a good, a good one when they have a good snap. Oh, cat made noise to the side of me. <laughs> it's nice, mm. but I think that, I think like there's like a, a a high salt kind of 
taste in it. Hmm. Uh, got the little Nestle symbol mm. in it as well. <laughs> yeah, it's like um, a little bit chalky though, to be honest. Oh. Yeah. I might have to backpedal on that um, snapping thing. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> No, no, I might do a dark chocolate uh, tasting. Ah, oh, like different dark chocolates, yes. Yeah. I know this much. We'll that, do white chocolate. Uh, I know that Hershey's, um, the company Hershey's, owns uh, the Milky Way bar. Co- uh, uh, Milky Way. The owns a, an old British chocolate property. And, like, they change, like, the chocolates. But I've actually had a Hershey's milk chocolate bar before. And I did not like it. I felt like it really stuck to the roof of your mouth. So, these but back to the Kit Kats. <laughs> these packets are hot. Oh yeah. Hot. So, what did, the, what, what did it actually say that this packet was anyway? The the dark one. Uh, it is just literally dark chocolate. Oh, okay. It's just literally dark chocolate. I'm not sure on if that's a local <clears throat> thing to do. There you go. Snapped it all in half. <laughs> I know. Apparently, in Japan, they have like loads of different flavors to pretty much suit uh, any kind of customers but if i remember correctly uh, the reason why kit kats are so popular in japan is because uh, a rough translation of kit kat uh, i think it, it's something to do with like a statement about like Ooh. you know having a lucky day or something like that can't quite remember the words and i don't want to say those words because i don't want to miss say them and get laughed at in the comments oh whoa what the heck is this i just really have a smell of it kind of smells like that like a cinnamon kind of thing as well, like yeah. the trick or treat one. Mmm, yeah, very cinnamon. Mmm. I don't know, the smell of it is a lot more impactful than the taste. Mmm. Tastes is okay. I put it around about like a, a baseline five. Like, yeah, yes, I know, people get this confused all the time. Just because I give it a five doesn't mean I hate it, and doesn't mean I like it either. Mm. I like to go in the straight middle with these things, and we're not doing game reviews where seven is going. <laughs> it's a that might be able to make up your mind. I think with the five. Yeah. I'd probably go with the five as well, though. Yeah, because it's quite it's nice, but it isn't too overbearing or overstaying. Or mm. it doesn't give it that pizzazz kind of feel. If this was. If this was an anime, this Kit Kat would be generic anime harem protagonist. Like, you know, <laughs> down to the letter. <laughs> hmm. Bit of trouble figuring where this one places, but I think it's a slightly different one here. Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> no, Sheets, you failed us. We needed you. <laughs> Now, the flavour isn't very standout-ish, so it's kind of hard to place what it even mm. is. Maybe it is a kind of cinnamon or something. I think it may be pudding. Pudding? Okay. Very... That's, that's like... Maybe? If that's a pudding, then that's a very disappointing pudding. <laughs> oh. Right, your turn. Oh, well, you know what? I'm just going to go straight for it. This one I'm definitely going to like. This one's going to probably land a solid seven straight away. Is that to level up your, pl- your palate, then? Just oh, yeah, speak, oh yeah, speaking of which, I'll just have some tea. <laughs> Bit of a palate cleanser, even though that this tea is very strong in flavour, the uh, the lustful licorice, very strong. Well, it depends on how much you put in, really. And also, hashtag not sponsored by Dragon's Treasure. I nope. just like it. <laughs> it is very favourable. Yeah, it's very favourable. Oh, the bar's a lot darker than I was expecting. It looks like a um, there you go. Just normal Kit Kat. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of the bars that we've seen so far have been quite light and white, haven't they? I was gonna. Oh, I like that. It smells. This... It's a green tint to like the wafer. It, it straight up smells like an after eight. Mmm. <laughs> yum yum yum. Hmm. I wonder if there's actually somebody on YouTube right now, like a Japanese guy. That's like a channel. And you sit there and just like, ah, yes, I'm going to try English sweets today. <laughs> English, yeah. <laughs> Probably is. Hmm. I like that one. 
Yeah, yeah. Missed out of seven. Yeah, yeah, really low. Oh, I, I, can't, I can't just say anything that's mint and it's seven it, straight away. It's, it's smooth mm. on the outside, nice and crunchy on the inside. Yep. There's a burst of uh, flavour in the wafer. <laughs> and I love the green tip, like the green hue to it. Mm, yeah, yeah, definitely. Right, uh, I'm guessing that's, if that one was a dark chocolate, that's going to be a white chocolate. Yeah, most definitely. I don't like white chocolate. <laughs> I do. I love white chocolate. I love buttons. Not chocolate buttons, but well, white chocolate buttons on that too. I'm going to go with this one because it looks like maybe a peach. Mm, ah, I wonder be. if these are just like average flavours. Mm. And then these are like the mixes, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. And we've got, of course, the, the, the generic, like, <laughs> yeah. you know, like the regular one. No, I'll go for this one. It says Mount Blanc. Much blanc. It's very good. Yeah. My key is still very hot. <laughs> <laughs> Only could I manage a tiny sip. A very tiny sip for me. Yeah. A very tiny sip for you. I wish I could get a tiny simp in the comments so that way the. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So again, we've got that uh, oh, wow. milk chocolate kind of look to it. Oh, smell really strong. Yes, I think it's very powerful. Oh, what is a it's a coffee or something, isn't it? Hmm. Oh, it's actually really nice. I like this one. Hmm. I think I think this one, considering it literally has pictures of pudding on it, I think this one might actually be the pudding. <laughs> At least it looks like a pudding to me. I don't know. Here you go. Landing <laughs> up to you. Mm. Mm. Yeah, they're kind of a cinnamon type swirl, though, aren't they? Oh, no, it's a dumb thing, apparently. It is a, it is a Mont Blanc. <laughs> Malanc. Really good. I have no idea what the hell <laughs> what one of those is, but it is nice. I've read it before, but I'm not that cultured. Yeah, same. I did try. This is helping us to be cultured. <laughs> <laughs> We'll start with sweets and then we'll yeah. move outwards. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then next, you'll never know, we might be sponsored by a wine company and we'll try some wine. <laughs> I think that's the only time I will try wine. Mm. I'm a whiskey girl. Yeah, yeah. I'm more of a rosé person, mm. Mm, to be honest. Like I'm when it comes to wine. Six. It's quite nice and smooth again. <laughs> mm, I'll give it a... It's got I... a pleasant taste, aftertaste, though. Do you know what? I'll give it a solid, and I mean solid, it ain't moving, it ain't going nowhere. I'd give it an eight, really tasty. Really? Yeah, that was yummy. I know what to get you for Christmas. Yeah, I know some <laughs> of those. <though. laughs> right, your turn, isn't it? Oh, yes, it is. Just about to take a drink of tea. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> I've been resisting the entire time. I was like, I'll prove it wrong, I won't pick it for a while. <laughs> uh, ooh. Got an interesting look to it. I'm but, on. Here you go. Take it does. It literally looks like it might be like the other one. Do you know what it reminds me of? Do you know those little um, um, cut covered like little um, like generic like cereal bars that kind of like have that chocolate covering over it. That's what it kind of reminds mm. me of. Ooh, that smells it's, nice. Again, it's that same kind of smell. Yeah, that kind of like. Like, oh, well, this is kind of... Warm kind of toffee and cinnamon. Mm. Smell usually. Oh, I get what you mean. It's, it's got that nice sweet smell to it. It's mm. very... Mm. Eat it now. Well, they've done something mm. quite well with it. Because it, it literally melts in your mouth. Oh, it definitely melts in your mouth. Just instantly. Gone. It's barely any crunchy. Yeah, I am. Crunchy is very limited. Now, I'm not sure if that's like... An unconscious kind of thing. Hmm. Because of the packaging. Maybe. Could be an unconscious thing. But it does feel like it's melted pretty well. Mm. And the the crunch it did it did have its crunch to it. And it's actually lingering in my mouth quite well as well. It's very tasty. I know we haven't really been saying to our solid ratings in this one like we do it like we did with the tea, but Yeah. <laughs> but that one's also really good too. I would give that one a, a, a solid eight as well because that one's gorgeous. I like it, but yeah. I'd, I'd still probably give it about a six. Hmm. So I enjoyed the other one more. 
I don't know, I enjoyed them I enjoyed that one in the Mont Blanc, like um at, at the same level. Yeah, that's something to do on the back of this. <laughs> that one's yours. Thank you. It looks Oh yeah. It's got like a slight mottled colour to it, but it's uh other than that, it kind of looks like cream. Just like you get a little drawing thing on the back here. Interested, interested. It's got that same smell again. It's always that same smell. That very like sweet. This is I think that's just the gen though. yeah. I just think that's just the generic kind of smell of it. I think <laughs> like these kids upstairs. Man. Yeah, yeah. That's why I raised my voice. <laughs> oh, this is crunchy. Mm, very it? crunchy. Mm. 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 I don't know how to feel about this one. It's like oaty. Yeah, very oaty. Meaty kind of biscuit, mm. you know, like a digestive biscuit. N yeah, I think it might be a digestive, you know. Oh, there you go. Whole grain flour. Ah. Flour. 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 Mm. Yeah, that's odd to put. Tastes pretty good, actually. It's all right. I quite like that one. Yeah, yeah. It's not... I'd put it out of five still. Because mm. it's, it's pretty good. But it's not so bad I'd lower it. And it's not so good that I'll raise it up. I think a seven because you could probably take that anyway. True, true. But it tastes... It's got not that nice smooth taste like a green tea. I feel like I could possibly accidentally eat a load of these. <laughs> when I mean accidentally, I mean... Oh no, I have no fossil will. <laughs> so... Uh, your turn. I failed my will say. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna go for it. This one, obviously. I knew you would. <laughs> I like white chocolate. What can I say? White chocolate kind of person. I think a lot of these things have like a little drawing thing on the back of them. I'm not sure why that is. But come on, you open. Yeah, they do. Even though I mean the the mango one does as well. That's nice. So be considerate. Well, I know in I know in Japan they're very uh, big on recycling as well. Um, right, like they literally have certain bins that are colour coded to certain types of plastic, and if you get it wrong, you get the I think it's the yellow sticker yes. of shame. And I think they've started doing it around here as well, haven't they? Yeah, like, in Wales especially. Mm. So come on then, let's get I, it's to stuck the on the other one. Let's get to the kick cart. There you go. Oh, actually, I probably should have this one. Here you go. You can have the one that has slightly less on it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm consider it, I guess. Well, it looks like a cookie. Mm, it does look like a cookie. Oh, look. Mm. You've got a mixture, like a, a layering of... Uh, looks like chocolate. Oh. Mm -hmm. You can literally, you can see the layering on this one. Mm. Is that same smell? Hmm. I didn't bother smelling, but I just ate it. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, oh, I'm going to like this. Yum. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Mm. Definitely. Love this one. Nine. Definitely. Mm. Mm. So good. Oh. It's got to be God tier to get me up to it at nine. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. I'm getting that thing in your brain where your brain's like, ah. Oh. <laughs> you get like a euphoric. Yeah, that thing. euphoric feel. I'm like, mmm, this is so good. That's why it's a nine. I can still put it on par with the tea. I'm going right. say another seven. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, excuse me. Oh, so good. I'm going for this one. So anybody, anyone who's still stuck in there with us in uh, mm. uh, Good on you. It's in half an hour full, but I think I might split this into two, so right. thank you. Right, right. <laughs> Such a compliment. Mmm, definitely. Could have this. Considering... Unless you don't want it, that's fine. <laughs> no, I'm coming. Don't worry. I got it. I it's just don't want my... Pink. I just don't want my pale whiteness to blind the audience again. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, anybody who watches these. You know, it kind of reminds me of Hubba Bubba for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. It kind of reminds me of the the red Hubba Bubba. Whoa. 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 Mm. Whoa. Whoa. Mm. Whoa. Mm. Mm, I like this. You know, the taste they like the popping candy with it, the popping. Oh, yeah. Mm. That's what it tastes like. I know, it kind of reminds me of Hubba Bubba. 
Mmm. It's like good. a strawberry flavour, isn't it? Mmm. You, when you put it in your mouth, you think, oh, okay, then it's strawberry. Great. Mmm. It's not chewing it, I think it's in the wafers. Yeah, yeah. There's like a sugary taste, like, oh, dotted, yeah, dotted yeah. throughout it, like a burst of flavour throughout it. Definitely, there is those little. Mmm, so good. I like that. And definitely, I like that too. And if that is a strawberry, I'm usually not a big fan of strawberry. Mmm. Oh no, it isn't. No, that makes more it? sense. It's a raspberry. It's a raspberry. Hey, raspberry. Mm. Apparently, we don't know what flavors are. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what it tastes like to us. Uh, if you took us to Flavor Town, we wouldn't even know. And um, um, to be honest, this is just a Kit Kat. Yeah. It is chocolate. It is wafer. It is the original. Mmm. Solid. Solid. So uh, I don't think we really need to. Eat that one. <laughs> We'd save it for the piranhas. Um, so we'll probably do another one. Not literal piranhas, by the way. <laughs> we'll do another one with the uh, sweets. Yes, these so, little jockeys. Yep, I'm going to do that in another video. So uh, thank you for joining us. Yep. I hope you've uh, got a little bit more information on this uh, almost blind review. Oh, my, yeah, semi blind review. We haven't yeah. looked at the sheet. <laughs> Not very much. None of us can read uh, Japanese or any other languages, really. I mean, at least I can't. I know I can't. <laughs> I, I can only do it partially in German. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm pretty sure these aren't German. <laughs> Should we try German sweets? That sounds like a good idea. Next time, German sweets. I'm pretty sure they're really into, like, hard... Uh, you know, like, that's proper, like, old grandma sweets. I'm pretty oh, sure. Boiled. Sweets, well, sweets, yeah. More candies for right, thank you for joining us anyway, mm -hmm. and uh, well, drop on by uh, to the channel another time and we'll have something different for you. Yeah, yes. Food or drink, or maybe something else. Or maybe we'll get some new so, tea. So, uh, if you uh, pop down and jump onto that subscribe button, I'll be here waiting. So, we'll coil. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, he's moving away soon, so this is his last one. So, yep. uh like, subscribe, even share with your foodies. Mm. Hey, uh, you know, you're having a party one night, we might do this. So, yeah. Yeah. See you later then. See you. Bye. Bye.